And what's cool about this is something that you can see on this drawing on this sketch is that you could equally say oh I might be interested in that point down there how do I find that and you'd have to differentiate and then you'd have to solve that guy right which would be very similar to the way that we just approached this suppose the question was don't just like maybe you know don't just find me the uh, root. the root don't just find the x-intercept I want you to find where that like here's, here's a stationary point find where that stationary point is right mm -hmm. so what we would need to do is we would differentiate this thing um, I would say, well, f dash x is going to be, what's that? 2e to the 2x minus e to the x. Yep. That's it. Yep. And then I'd have to solve this thing. I would say uh, stationary points exist when oh, that guy, cool. right, equals 0. You can see how all these pieces of knowledge combine together, right? So now you've got uh, 2e to the 2x minus e to the x equals 0. Mm -hmm. And then you would go off and you would try to, you know, manipulate this in such a way to make it look like a problem you do know how to solve. Can you just, I think two of my neurons fused. <laughs> we're trying, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We, no, we are, we're trying to, in fact, one of the reasons why I thought, oh, this is worth pursuing, we're trying to show you many of the, like, uh, foundations you've laid. Yeah. Like, here's, we're going to build a house over here, we're going to build a house over here, build a house, and it's like, actually, this is all just one big castle. They all they fit together. Them, yeah, yeah, we absolutely have. Okay. Just cool down for a bit. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. How do you even solve for that? How do you solve for zero? Uh, you're talking about this guy here? Yeah. Do you want to solve it? It's easier than it looks. I promise it's easier than it looks. Just put e to the other side. So it becomes okay. You so put yeah, two, two e squared. Yeah. It's, I promise it's easier than it looks. What could you do here? I'm sorry, but like my brain's. Just you want me to help you out? Yeah. I'll help you out. It's fine. So what I'm going to do is remember, and admittedly, like here's one of the things, right? Uh, I don't mean to. Um, this is going to sound weird, but one of the things that happens when you get lots and lots of practice and develop lots of skill, when you become expert, one of the things that makes an expert an expert mm -hmm. is that they can see past um, superficial information and you can it's almost like wearing x-ray glasses you can see immediately to what's the the deep structure that actually matters here right now when i look at this in so cool. it's it's it comes in <laughs> practice right every everyone's like this like what i what i love i used to be a touch football coach right really yeah at my old school i only stopped because here sport is at the same time as the exec meeting wow. so i'm like ah oh, that made me really sad part a small part of my soul died anyway the reason i'm highlighting that is one of the things that amazed me was Here's what would happen in a normal game, okay? Normal game, we'd turn up to play, and then, you know, their coach and my coach would meet up, and we'd say, okay, well, who's gonna, who's gonna ref this game, right? Uh, it's not like a final, it's just you and me here, so generally, I would referee one half, and they would referee the other. In a small number of cases, the other coach was like, you know, a substitute teacher, they're like, I don't know any of the rules, you can ref the whole thing, right? But usually, we'd take turns, right? And what would happen is, um, you know, say for example, it was you and me, as coaches, right? So you would um, uh, referee the first half, okay. and then I would referee the second half, right. right? Now what would happen is, I would, um, actually, just for the sake of illustration, let's just reverse it, right? So okay. suppose I started off on the field, and we're all playing, and then, you know, the game proceeds for like 20 minutes, bell goes, uh, whistle goes, and then, and then you come on and you take over, right? Now what would happen is, I would be standing on the sidelines with my team, because you're now refereeing, right? And you know, all the subs who are on the, on the bench with me, right? They're like shouting all of these things to the players on the field. They're like, go, go to the left. Or like, there's a gap over here, blah, blah, blah. Like they're shouting, trying to give them tips, right? And they would be mystified as to why their, you know, peers on the field cannot see what they can see from off the field. Mm. And if you've ever played a sport like this, you probably know. It's like American when you're in, yeah, when you're in the thick of it, you're like, oh, I can't see anything. That ability to be in the middle of it, but also sort of take this bigger perspective um, is a skill that comes with like years of practice, right? And um, I just loved, like there were a few particular players I watched. And um, I remember the captain of the team once when we won the premiership, a year 12 player, brilliant guy. And he just, he could do two things. Number one, he could see. He just, I don't know, like he could watch like, and there wouldn't be a big gap just be like a little bit of a gap and he could say, okay, that's where we're going to head, How? right? Yeah. 
I partly don't know the answer. That is fucked. And then in addition to that, no, no, no. He did it so consistently. I was like, this is not a coincidence. Yeah. You know, this is, this is a, a gift and a skill you've developed over time. And in addition to that, he just had this mean dummy pass. Like, it was so convincing. <laughs> Everyone got fooled by it. And um, because you combine those two things together, and he just ran rings around people, right? But it's like, there's no shortcut to that. I remember saying to him once, I was like, I need to, like, he's graduating, right? I'm like, you're really good at throwing a dummy pass. See, it's, how do you do this? And he's like, you just have to do it tens of thousands of times. Oh, wait, badly, he did right? say he practiced that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'd just been playing for a long time. Anyway, so... So I am in that position for this kind of thing, right? You reminded me of the quote from Gatsby. That's why you short circuited my head because I was like, "Where is that from?" Um, where he goes, uh, "I am both within and without." Ah. Both within and and out, something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. he's he's watching Gatsby and, and watching all the the city and how it's yep. like the immorality everywhere. Yeah. But then he's like, "I am within it, but I yeah. am also watching it." Yeah, he has a perspective on it that's like I can see what's going on, right? So in this case, thankfully, it's something less. Philosophically involved, right? <laughs> see that, see that e to the two x, right? Quite the opposite. What my brain is doing is saying, oh, what that really is is e to the x squared. Okay. Because of index laws, that x, I don't know why I did that so fat. Um, that x and that two, they really just multiply together to give two x. Differentiated. Right. Yeah. Okay. So if that's equal to e to the x, can you see? I can just divide both sides by e to the x. Do you see that? Oh my god, yeah. I just divide both sides. Exactly, right? See this this e to the x squared up here is just e to the x times e to the x. So therefore one of them's going to just cancel, right? And then of course on the right hand side you cancel, you just get one. That's perfect. Right? So it, it I told you it was easier than it looks, right? This is two e to the x equals one, e to the x equals a half. So this is x equals log of a half. Now you might think, wait a second, I actually, we saw this before, right? Yeah. I actually saw it's a, um, it's a negative value over here. That's where the stationary point is. But I've got log of a half, which looks positive, except it's not. Log of a half is actually log of two to the negative one. Do you agree with that? You see that? A half yes, yes, is 2 to the power of negative 1. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually that negative 1 here that actually can come out the front. I've, been, I've done this like three or four times today, right? That power jumps out the front, so it's actually negative log 2. And if you don't believe me, let's go back over to our graph. And if I put in negative log 2, bam, negative 0.693. Well, yeah, 